Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new on here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Gigi or Stella. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, you know how we do it here. Today, I'm going to be installing a really beautiful wig. As some of you already know from maybe my weekly vlog or from something I said before, I'm actually on a very much needed vacation. And one of the things I'm going to be doing is exploring this town and finding a lot of productivity yes i intentionally said exploring this town because i want you to actually check out the travel vlog that i will be linking in this video and of course i'm not about to start this travel vlog without investing in good looks because i'm always standing on business that looking good is good business let's get right into it today i'll be installing this beautiful curly wig which is a frontal wig um, and as you can see from this video it's an ear to ear I got this wig from a friend of mine in Nigeria. I will leave in the link to her Instagram page in the description box, so do check it out. Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. It also has this very natural texture, as you can see from this background. So I go on first to put on my wig cap. Come and fly away with me. And after putting on the wig cap, I went on to use the got to be spray to sort of keep my wig cap in place. Next, I tried to ventilate the wig. Honestly, I didn't have the tweezers, so I had to use my hand. And then I used the got to be glue. Um, what you see me doing here was measuring the hair and checking where it was so that I can align it with where the wig cap stopped. And then I used the got to be glue and applied it in the areas where I wanted to lay my wig. I dried it a little bit so that it would become a little bit tacky before now placing the wig and then using the hairband. The next thing I did was to go ahead and cut off the excess wig lace that was in front and then applied some more got to be spray to the parts that I cut out before I went on to slick it all back and to do the slicking it was easier to do it with the wax stick um, and then this wax stick was basically to help me um, slick the hair back and then help me to style the hair in whatever style I wanted to do. Next, I used a wet wipe to clean up the excesses. Then I used my powder which was in my color shade and this particular powder was in the shade Coffee Cake. I now went on to style the hair. I wanted to have a side part and that's what you see me doing here. I 
had music playing in the background so i was completely vibing to the music <laughs> and it really kind of made the whole mood very fun and very enjoyable filming this <laughs> this particular video <laughs> What I have in the spray can is water and conditioner and this helped me to slick down this hair because boy this hair is really voluminous and it was actually one of the reasons why I didn't install it earlier because I was really scared about handling the volume but look how slick down this hair looks. Also I think I did a really good job with the C part or what do you think? Next, I went in with my foundation and I used the foundation in the color 04 and this one I used um, to sort of highlight the C curve that I had made in the pattern just to make it look more natural. At this point my friend was actually in the room and she was dancing at the background so I didn't see her but it was really funny when I eventually started watching the the clips I went on to bring out some baby hairs I'm not really a fan or a huge fan of baby hairs I do it sometimes but this step is really optional if you don't like baby hairs then it's okay but i just wanted to do this part and i think that at the end of the day it really came out very nice because it gave this um, very natural looking look that i loved And boy can you see that baby hair taking shape oh my gosh looks so cute and I went on with my headband to put the baby hair in place and this is what the final look looks like guys Remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and I will see you in another video. Bye bye!